Hello, I'd like to introduce you to Gene Lee, the first iPhone app from Clever Mojo Games. Gene Lee was built for the iPhone, but it works perfectly well on the iPod Touch and the iPad. Here it is on the iPad on the uh, screen doubled mode. You can see that Gene Lee is playable as a solo game or head-to-head -head against another player. There's very thorough instructions on how to play and there's a number of options to choose just the right game style for you. There's also credits to show you who all is behind the production of this app. We'll just jump right into a solo game and show you how it plays first. You control two koi in a pond. You play the orange koi, you get to go first. You touch one of your koi and the screen highlights green moves that you can make. These are called swim moves and you can move from where you're at to an adjacent square via a swim. So when you decide where you want to move, just touch it, it turns white, touch it again, and your koi moves into that spot. Now you'll see that I have a stone pulsing over here. Every time you make a swim move, you also place a stone. A stone can be used to block your opponent or to help yourself get across the board quicker because you can jump stones. I'm going to put this stone right here. I touch it to show us where I want it, then confirm and there it goes. The AI makes its move next. You see in this case it used its stone to block my possible jump move. In a jump move you can jump over one stone into the clear space just beyond that stone. Okay, so my turn. I highlight my fish that I want to move. I touch the space I want to move to, confirm, and it moves. Now I have another pulsing stone. So I will put that stone here. Okay, now I'm going to take this and do a jump move. Now you see the green moves are the swim moves. That's where you go to the adjacent space. The red space indicates a jump move. In a jump, as I said before, you can go across the stone to the next clear space, but once you jump, you cannot place another stone, so it will become the AI's turn as soon as I'm done. You score points by getting koi adjacent to each other. His koi moved next to mine, so he got a point. If you can finagle it so that you get your koi next to two other koi, you score two points. And if you can really do a good job and get it next to three other koi, then you get three points. I'm going to move this one here. Now I scored a point because I'm adjacent to that koi. If I don't put my stone here, he'll jump here and score two points. I'll show you how that works now. You see? Now, my turn. Moving this koi, I have a whole bunch of different moves. I can swim here to score one point, because I'll be adjacent to him. I can jump over here and score one point, again, because I'll be adjacent to this guy. Or I can swim to these spots, which are no points, because I'm not adjacent to anybody. Or I can jump to these spots, which are no points, because I'm not adjacent to anybody. I'm going to take him and move him here. And then I'm going to put a stone here so that he does not move and score two points. He still scored two points. you got to be careful on the AI. He can be very tricky at times. Hmm. I will move him. I don't have any scoring positions, so I'm going to move down here. And then I'll jump him over here for a point. I'm going to jump him across over here for two points. Now 
Now I can just do the exact same thing backwards. He's moved over here very nicely for me. So highlight that one. Move here. He has nine points. I have seven. The game is ten. It's not looking good for me. If I do the exact same thing again, he wins. The AI won this game. The winner will be yellow if the AI wins. It'll be orange and put down here if the uh, human player wins. And then you're given the option of playing again or not. I'm going to say no. The head-to-head -head game is just like the solo game, but you play with two humans. Your friend sits across the table from you. He controls the yellow koi. You control the orange koi. The score will be rotated so that it'll be facing him so he can read his score easily. The instructions are very thorough. In fact, they're quite long, but it goes into very much detail about what you do, how you do it, and why you do it. Then it comes down to explain all the options. You can turn the game sounds on and off. You can start your koi in the corner positions like the solo game I just showed you. Or you can set them in, start them one space inset from the corners, which makes for a little faster game. You can set the game to work with 10 stones or 5 stones. You can set the game to run 10 points or 15 points. You can set a speed game, which is timed, gives you 20 seconds to execute your turn. If you do not complete your turn within 20 seconds, your turn ends and the other person gets a point, or the AI gets a point. The most challenging game you'll probably find will be to have the start on the inset, the stones at 5, the score to 15, and the speed to yes. If you like Jin Lee and you want to have a physical copy of the game, you can purchase it from NestorGames.com. Jin Lee is available in the App Store right now for 99 cents. I hope you'll take a look. Thank you.